What's going on guys? Today I'm starting a new series on WordPress plugins, which ones you need in order to be an awesome developer for WordPress and build out custom themes um, just to your client's liking. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is called uh, Advanced Custom Fields and this basically lets you customize any kind of page, post type, attachment, uh, anything you can even think of um, just based off of fields that they give you and then you grab from those fields um, with these PHP tags here and uh, display the data on your front end. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the advanced custom fields plugin. Um, the free version uh, should be totally fine. As you can see, it has 4.9 out of 5 stars. Um, just an amazing plugin that does so much for you and can really make your pages fully customizable super easy. Um, and I'm going to get into showing you guys how to do that right now. So, let's see here. Get to this. So I've got just this basic HTML page. Um, no styling right now. Just super, super simple. Um, just to show you guys how this kind of works um, with ACF. So um, this is just the basic front page.php right now, but this will work on any template file, any you know page you've got going on. You just have to specify that, and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So this is just the basic content we've got going on. Just picture that this would be uh, maybe like some buttons that you could add here, and then you have this image that's just a static image right here, and then you've got just this static text here, and you've got some title. Um, you've got your header up here and your footer down here. Um, and then this could be some sort of image gallery going on, super simple image gallery. I'll get into more complex image carousels and stuff later on with this plugin uh, that make uh, editing those super easy. So let's just start out with jumping into the back end here. Let's see. Uh, copy this. Let's do a new tab and run the admin here and let's just get rid of all this going on um, so as you can see if we come into the plugins we've got uh, the advanced custom fields pro I'm using pro because I'm uh, I use this all the time for my development work and it just offers some amazing features uh, that I love so if you come down here to custom fields uh, you'll see that we have no custom fields going on right now, so we're going to say add new. And this field, I'm just going to say home page. And I'm going to make this, uh, this field, you can basically say that you want this field to display on any of these things. So whether it's a current user, a page, a parent page, post, post category, post type, um, and then down here, attachment, comment any of that kind of stuff you can say that this page is equal to is not equal to so you can set up multiple rules of when these fields show up and uh, right now I'm gonna come over to pages first actually uh, let's, let's go ahead and publish this really quick um, pages let's add new and we're just gonna say home and then I'm gonna publish this and on let's see come down to settings and reading I believe it is static home cool just forgot to change that so that's basically going to say that this page is using the front page.php file so if we come back here it still should load this um, so now uh, we can go into our custom fields and we can say home page and we want this field to be showing up on a page if it is equal to home and that's what we're saying there and then I'm actually going to toggle off all these things that are uh, normally on the uh, default uh, page um, the edit page kind of back-end look to it so if we come back to pages um, we can see that there's actually nothing going on here now and uh, this is our custom field 
So we're going to come back to the custom field, and we actually haven't added any fields to it. So let's match this up with what our template is doing. So we have this title here. We've got uh, this paragraph and this image field. So let's just say add field and then home page title. All right, now normally you could um, just do something like this and say PHP the title uh, for the home page, and you can see that this is going to come up and say home. But uh, for this, if you wanted some subhead or something, you can uh, add that in. So we're actually going to change this to home page um, header text or something. All right, and then I'm going to change this to home page header text. This is uh, automatically generated after you uh, do a blur on this um, on this uh, input form, and a blur is when you click off of an uh, input form. So uh, I just went ahead and regenerated this to match uh, this field label, and this is what you're going to be using in your um, in your template file to grab uh, this field. So this field type, we're just going to say it's text, and then here you can give instructions like write the header text for the home page, and we're going to say uh, that it is required, and then we're just going to close this field, and next we're going to go here and we're going to say that we want this header kind of description. So we're going to say home page header description and as you can see that automatically generates this slug for me and uh, we're going to say that this is a text area and we're going to write the header description and say yeah that is required and then now we're going to come down here and say add field and this um, or right here is an image and this is a little bit different, so if you want to add an image, we'll just say home page header image. And we got that slug there, and we're actually going to change this to an image uh, field type. I'm going to say upload your image and say it's required. Now, <clears throat> this is your return value. So basically, what happens is when you, uh, when you run, um, your PHP function to grab this uh, input data. You can select how you want your data to return as. Um, if you use it as an array, um, you're going to have to grab the uh, URL from the array, but if you just want the URL, you can just say image URL, but that means that you won't be able to return um, any sort of like image alt tag or image name tag, image ID, anything like that, it will only get the image URL. So we'll just do this for now, uh, just to show you guys what's going on. Um, you can set the preview size, and this is the preview size for like actually on um, the back end of the page. So this would be on the home page as you're editing it. When you upload an image, it would show as this size. So we'll just keep it at thumbnail, and we are going to close that. All right, and let's just uh, start adding the content now. So let's go back to the home page, and as you can see, when we open this guy up, we have <coughs> our home page header text, home page header description, and home page header image. So I'm going to say that this, for this, I'm going to say this is an awesome website header text text exclamation point and then here I'm just gonna throw in um, some awesome hipster ipsum because we're so hipster and just grab this paragraph right here come back to our page and paste that in there and then for the image I'm actually going to upload um, an image right now on the template I'm just using um, place hold it but I just want to use an actual image so I grab this off of unsplash and so back when I was talking about uh, whether or not you should use an image array or use the image URL if you use the image array you're basically going to be able to grab all of this data down here um, 
but if you just use the Im image URL, you're just going to be at returned whatever this field is right, right here. So let's select this image, and as you can see, this is the preview size I talked about, which is the 150 by 150. Um, I'm going to say update. And if we come back to our file, nothing changes, obviously, because we haven't updated our template. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just basically going to replace this with PHP the field. And we're going to say that the field is, let's come back, and this is going to match up with whatever this is. But remember, it's going to be the one with the underscores, and it's all lowercase. So homepage header text. All right. So if we come back to our file, we should be seeing that this is an awesome website header text, and that is now a dynamic thing. And if I come back here and say, this is an awesome header text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I update that. If I come back to the page and refresh, you can now see that that is now updated. Uh, we can do the same thing with this guy and just get rid of that. Collapse those, PHP the field. And I believe this is home page header description. So home page, can't type header. Description. All right, we'll close this PHP tag, and so basically, what this is doing is it's grabbing, it's saying PHP grab the field associated with this page, home page header description, and then echo out whatever that says. And if we come down here and refresh, you can see that that changed, and now we've got our hipster ipsum. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here for the image. I'm going to get rid of the image tag, or the, excuse me, the URL, and we're going to say PHP the field. And we are going to say that this is home page header image. Home page header image. So now that's going to echo out this image. And just because it's obnoxiously big, I'm just going to say the width is 200 on that just so that we can get that down um, to zero. But you can see that that image is now populating. And that's just echo. All right, out guys, the URL that's right the basics there. for the custom fields pro plugin. If you want to grab data uh, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a repeater field. And then uh, we'll get into uh, the gallery fields as well. Um, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, go ahead and comment. Um, definitely check this plugin out. It makes a world of addition, uh, a difference. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.